guys, it's Kem Kem, my real name is Kem, in case you're curious, thank you for joining me for another video, and if you're new, then welcome. So today, we have an empties video, and I must apologize, because this empties video, I mean, it's got some good, it's got some heavy hitters, but it's not a lot. So I have a mixture of hair care and body care, there may be some skin care, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna pick randomly from the empties bag and we're gonna get started so the first thing i have i know it's the old packaging but it's the nature's little secret mixed fruit nutrient rich deep conditioner made with fruit extracts for all hair types um i do have a youtube video using this product i think it was like an in shower wash day so i can link that i'll probably have to link it below because i do have quite a few products this smelled so good. Um, it smelled like a peach sangria. Oh, I love the smell of peaches. Peaches and mangoes are like, they might be my top two scents. But it worked really well. My hair was super soft, super moisturized when I used it. Um, I'm trying to finish out my nature's little secret thing so I can, you know, get the new stuff. Because um, I don't want to mix packaging. I just can't do it. Next, y'all, if you've been here a minute, you should know about this Design Essentials Honey Curl Forming Custard. This is, this was my favorite wash and go product um, before I tried Curl Days. This is actually right now my wash and go. It was a Curl Days wash and go and we're on day, I don't know, it's Sunday and I did this on Thursday. So I guess that's like almost like day four or something like that. But yes, before I fell in love with curl days this was number one number one and actually this one still makes my hair feel more moisturized but my hair doesn't last as long with this so those are pros and cons um i think i would repurchase this i do yeah i definitely would um and i would repurchase the the deep conditioner from nature's little secret as well next we have the dove hydrating aloe and birch water scent refreshes and invigorates skin moisture renew blend nourishing body wash um i love dove it's not too harsh on my skin like i have like sometimes i have like sensitive skin patches and stuff like that and like even like even though i don't use this to actually wash down there it still sometimes irritates it so like i make sure i only use like very natural or very mild body washes so this one was really good i love the smell it's just so clean it's oh, i love this um i would repurchase this and i've definitely repurchased it many times so yeah next is the botanical bliss peppermint patty yoni gel feminine cleanser made with healing oils and herbs this Y'all want to talk about a tingle? This was a tingle. Like, imagine, like, when you brush your teeth and use mouthwash and then, like, drink cold water. That was the feeling down there using this. Like, just so, like, cold and refreshing. So, if you don't mind a tingle, I'd say pick this up. It works really well. Um, It didn't dry me out or anything like that. And that's always a problem. So, this not drying me out was nice next i have the nivea body lotion essentially enriched of the 48 hour moisture serum nourishing moisture um i use nivea pretty much every day like i have body wa not body washes i have body um butters and creams and stuff but like if i'm like if it's like an everyday type of thing i'm using nivea because even in the summertime my skin gets dry like my skin be dry um i don't know why me is running around but yeah so i like to use nivea it works for my skin i never feel like my skin is dry when i use it and like it lasts until the next shower you know like the next day so i really like this and i actually already repurchased it i think i got one with like some other oil enriched in it and it's over there it'll be gone soon because i use it literally every day Next is the Samora Naturals Moscato Body Butter. I've mentioned this before. Um, it, it smells literally like Moscato. So I would wear this like when I'm going on a date 
or I'm going out like during the nighttime because it smells so like it's just so grown and nice and oh, it's not overpowering either it's just perfect for like a date oh my gosh I need I I would definitely repurchase it but I do also want to try some of their other scents this is my second um time trying one of theirs um the first one I had was the pink sugar love that and I loved this one so I'm thinking about trying a new scent but yeah, either way, I would repurchase these body butters for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, and I would repurchase the Yoni Gel that I mentioned. And next is a product that you that never made it to YouTube. Unfortunately, I just really liked it and it lasted three uses. And that's the Black Fairy Naturals Rose Water and Aloe Deep Conditioner. Bruh, when I say used this up, like use this up it has like a really light scent it does smell like rose water to me um no i'm not really a fan of roses but this was really light so it didn't really affect me too much um it made my hair super soft and i think i can probably link the reel that i did using this product down below so you guys can see how i liked it and what it looked like in my hair since it never made it to youtube um i didn't purchase this this was actually sent to me for a collaboration but I think I might, I would purchase this again. Like it worked really well for my hair, especially paired with the shampoo that was more so like very cleansing. I don't remember if it was stripping or not, but it was very, very cleansing. Like no moisture was added. So this afterwards, the slip and the moisture I got after using this was amazing. So it was perfect to pair it with a very cleansing shampoo. So I'm not really sure if we include allergy pills in empties, but I finished it, so I decided to throw it in the bag. <laughs> uh, I use Allegra 24 hour in conjunction with Flonase because my allergies are aggressive and rude. So yeah, so these work pretty well. I already repurchased them. Got another bottle over there. Cannot be without these. Um, next, I have this old Eco Snow olive oil gel. This one I use specifically for my edges and when I was like sleeking up puffs um, or like sleek ponytail or something like that. Um, that's all I use this for. I didn't use it. Well, I used to use it for like braid outs and stuff, but that was years ago. And I don't even know if that was the same jar or not. But yeah, so it works really well. Um, for me, this was the best eco styler for laying down my hair uh, that I've tried. So yeah, I probably won't repurchase this because I found like edge controls that I like better than this now. So probably not. Next, I have three different vitamins that I like to take. Um, the first one is the Ollie Pre Probiotic Immune and Digestive Health. Um, this is mango flavored. Really good. This definitely worked. Cleaned my body out a little bit too well sometimes. I might have been TMI. But um, yeah, like I feel like this was doing exactly what it's supposed to do. That's that. <laughs> Um, the other one is the Ollie Undeniable Beauty. That's um, the grapefruit scent. I always have this on deck. Um, my skin, when I take these consistently, my skin is popping. My hair is popping. So I will continue to buy these. I already have another one. And for the um, other one, the other Ollie one for probiotics, I have a different one for that. But like I will continue to buy the Ollie probiotics because they seem to do the trick. I think the other one I had was like a stronger one that I bought um, versus this mango one. So yeah. And then I have the Ritual um, vitamins. I take these. Well, I've, I've really been lacking on my vitamins. I just started back up this week because I just be forgetting. So like now I have them like in my face, like on my dresser in my face. <laughs> so every morning I take them and I put them with my allergy pills because those will get to take like i have to take my allergy medicine or else it's a disaster um but yeah like i said just like with the other vitamins when i take it consistently i can see hair skin nails everything is just like overall better um i'm not as tired i have more energy and all, all that kind of thing so when consistent these work very well for me i just hate the taste like it's like minty but i, I hate it hate it um yeah, so like when I take those, I always 
take the rituals and then I eat like the gummies afterwards because the gummies taste better. All right, next is the Mish Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like this. Like, I mean, I didn't like it as much as the Strength and Deep Conditioner or their, their uh, limited edition deep conditioners that I've tried. Um, uh, yeah, I have a Mish playlist, so I guess I can tag that above because um, I've tried this product against the Strength in one and I've used a couple of the, the uh, limited edition deep conditioners, so I may like list the link the playlist or maybe just link the video of me trying this. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, so I ended up using this on my brother's hair. It worked a lot better for him than me. Um, yeah, it didn't it didn't wow me, and I didn't really like the watermelony candy scents. Yeah, I liked the strengthened one better. Next is the Secret Cool Water Lily. Um, Deep, con deep conditioner girl deodorant um this smells nice and white i mean it worked pretty well i'm not gonna say like it was like amazing like i still sweat when it when it was super hot i still would sweat it just wasn't as much as i would have you feel me um but i do pretty much use just secret in different scents so it's a repurchase i guess yeah. Oh, indulge, not a repurchase. Okay, next isn't quite an empty, but it started to do some weird stuff when I was trying to use it. This is another product I used on my brother's hair. It's the Naturally Azalea Mint Moisturizing Shampoo with sea berry and kiwi extract. I love, love Naturally Azalea, but this was my least favorite product, I think. I really did not enjoy this. Um... It clean, like, I, I mean, I think it was more so the scent for me. I just did not like the scent of this product, um, but it worked well. So I would use this as well when I was doing my brother's hair and it worked well for him. So, you know, we just left it at that. Um, but it started to do some funky things. So as you can see, it's not fully empty, but um, the consistency kind of changed a little bit. So we just decided that we probably shouldn't use it anymore. I'm, it's definitely been over like the 12 months too, so that's probably it. Next is the Nature's Little Secret Milk Strengthening Deep Conditioner. Have a video on this. I probably have a video on the Naturally Azalea shampoo as well, but um, I would not repurchase that. But I have this one from Nature's Little Secret. I have a video I can list. Um, unfortunately, this one isn't available anymore. I think she made all her products vegan. I think now so like it doesn't have goat milk anymore it's something else like it's coconut milk and something else I think so this is no longer available but I'm sure the one that replaced it is just as good if not better because Nature's Little Secret knows how to make a conditioner so I would I can't repurchase this one but once I get through my Nature's Little Secret stash I would definitely want to try the one that replaced this one next I have the organic beauty leave-in detangler now I'm gonna be honest I've never used this as a leave-in ever this however is top two top two pre poos top two without a doubt i can use this on my dry hair dry cracked busted up wash and go from a week ago put this on finger to tangle that's it you don't need water I mean, you can add water if you want. I mean, it adds to the slip and stuff, but you don't have to use water with this. I also have a code link down below just in case you were curious, but this, I'm sure it's a bomb leave-in too, but like, I just, this is just too good of a pre-poo for me to want to try for anything else, but I do, so I would repurchase this. Well, I didn't repurchase, I didn't purchase it in the first place. It was sent to me to do um, a collaboration, which is on Instagram but I also have a YouTube video using this so I can link the YouTube video um it's amazing it is literally amazing I don't think that yeah there's not many products that's topping this and I feel like this brand is underrated and people need to know about it y'all need to get you some of this and save some money while you do it the link is down below I don't know if I mentioned it but I already have another one of those so yeah, they sent me another one. So your girl is set for now. 
And last but not least, we have the Kennedy's Essential Moisturize and Restore Deep Conditioner made with organic bananas and castor oil. It's supposed to strengthen and hydrate. I just recently used this. Love it. Love it. So much. I tried it that one wash day that I filmed and did a, a video on that I'll link above or below or whatever. Um, and I fell in love. I think maybe if not the next wash day, I use it the wash day like after that. Like this was done unfortunately in two uses because it was so runny, um, but it was so good. I also have um, a link down below for Kennedy's Essentials. You can get some money off. Unfortunately, this is like a limited edition um, deep conditioner, but her other products are bomb. So if you're curious about Kennedy's Essentials, definitely click that link below. But that is the end of my empties video thank you so much for watching make sure you let me know if you tried any of these the body care or the hair care products um we can chit chat about them down below or if you had like the ollie vitamins and if you tried other ones that are better or whatever you know let your girl know um yeah and make sure you like comment share subscribe tell a friend tell a friend tell a cousin to tell a cousin Follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box. You can also find all of these coupon codes that I mentioned before down there as well. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.